So I am Butch, the Ghostbuster of Christmas Present, and that is Nunzio, the Ghost of Christmas Keyboard. And today is a very scullary Christmas. Now, as we all know, Christmas is a time for giving and a time for family. And we all have our memories of childhood Christmases. But you see, Nunzio and I, well, we didn't have a traditional childhood. Our mother, the late Foxy Mama Scullary, was an international... <laughs> Thief, who killed my father before I was ever born because, according to her, bad men who tell the cops about mommy's jewelry collection have to bathe with a toaster. And Nunzio, well, his father ran out on us. Oh, well, I, I mean, Nunzio's father was, was Harpo Marx. He was Harpo Marx. Calm down, Nunzio. Daddy was Harpo. Daddy was Harpo. But we still did the usual Christmas bit, you know. Nunzio and I would leave out fried eggs and vodka with orange juice for the great pumpkin. And in the morning, we'd run downstairs to find Mom's fishnet stockings full of, well, in my case, pills, prophylactics, porn, and packs of cigarettes. And Nunzio, of course, would get car parts, plutonium, and, uh, you know, odds and sods, everything he might need to build his robots. And then, under the tree, of course, the Brazilian ladies' soccer team. <laughs> but, you know, have you ever asked for something on Christmas because you saw the commercial and it just looked great? But then you get it home and you realize a piece of junk do anything that the commercial made you think it would? Like Connect Four. Those things don't talk. Well, <laughs> I'm not above admitting it. A couple of times I have, well, conned my way into some of these good graces. And I feel bad about that. There needs to be more honesty in advertisement. And this is about that. Hello, girls. My name's Butch. And I am a wheeling, dealing, kiss stealing, styling, and profiling son of a gun. And I promise you the ride of your life. But other than that, I will let you down. I assure you. Because everything I do and say that will convince you that I'm a decent guy, caring, strong, funny, and willing to listen to any problem that you might have, is simply an elaborate ruse so that I can slime my way between your bed sheets and take you straight to the top of Space Mountain. <laughs> but after that, the other shoe drops like Nagasaki. I'm going to cheat on you. No, I swear, I'm going to cheat on you. I guarantee that I'm going to cheat on you, and it will probably be with, probably be with someone that I have introduced you to. When your cold feet wake me at nine in the morning, you will live in the vast shadow cast by a woman I have not seen in almost five years. In the race of my heart, you will be perpetual runner up to someone who threw it. Every time I promise you sushi, we will still end up eating at that same hole in the wall dive of a pizza place that you despise. I will miss the yoga class you spent months begging me to attend. And when your dog dies, I will be too useless and too self-absorbed to offer you any kind of solace. I will always be broke. I will always be cranky. I will always be selfish. I am belligerent, rude, arrogant, offensive. And let's face it, I smell. I will never be there for you. I will never be your shoulder to cry on. I am not going to be your war horse. I will read and ignore you when you want my love. And I'm the kind of guy who only cuddles after making love. Don't even bother if we're going to stay friends. But when I break up with you, that's right, I break up with you. I'm so good at that, you won't want to be my friend. Just ask the others. I let them down too. All of my unsatisfied customers.